these uh, electrical patterns serve as a kind of uh, cognitive glue to bind cells together into a, a single uh, body. And so here we have, this is a frog embryo putting its face together. And so this is one frame from that video. We call this the electric face, because what you see here is that before uh, the gene uh, expression and the cell behaviors that lead to forming a face, this is the memory that you can read out of what it's planning to build. So here's where the eye is going to go. Here's where the mouth is going to go. Here are some placo structures. So, um, so, so the bioelectric stores a memory of what the thing is going to build, but it's also a cognitive glue across individuals. So here you can see when I uh, when, when we poke this one, these two find out about this in short order. And the same thing here, you poke this embryo, there's a wave that, that goes, and these, these are, each one of these is a, is a whole embryo. These are not cells, these are whole embryos. So, so you can see that there's communication within and communication between individuals. They're sitting in an aqueous medium, which is how the wave can, can propagate. And then here are just a bunch of cells where you can see the incredibly complex electrical activity that, uh, that, that they're able to drive. Okay, so, so we're able to read these things. Now, if you're going to communicate, you can't just listen. You have to be able to uh, convey messages too. And so this is just one example. I could show you um, hours of this kind of stuff where what we can do is say to some, to some cells that are going to normally make a gut, we can give them the message that says make an eye. And that message is encoded electrically. We introduce it using uh, ion channel, uh, potassium channels um, in uh, encoded by RNA that make a little voltage gradient that looks just like that eye spot that I showed you a minute ago. And sure enough, the cells get the message and they make an eye. Now, there's something very important here, which is that when I'm talking to you all, I don't need to worry about reaching in and making sure that all your synaptic connections are doing the right uh, biochemical things so that you remember what I'm saying. You are going to take care of all of that because you're a multi-scale cognitive system. All I need to do is give you prompts with a very thin linguistic interface, uh, and then you will do all the hard work of arranging the internals of your brain to, uh, to, to, to uh, act accordingly. The same thing is true here. We provide a very simple signal. It's a prompt. It says, make an eye. We don't tell the cells what to do. We don't tell which genes to turn on and off. We don't talk to the stem cells. We, in fact, we have no idea how to actually make an eye any more than I have any idea of how to manipulate your synapses so that you remember what I'm saying. Uh, the system takes care of all of that because it is a multi-scale cognitive agent that takes high-level uh, information and it handles all the stuff downstream, including... If we only get a few cells here, they will do the job of telling their neighbors. So the blue ones are the ones that we injected. All of this other stuff, this lens that's sitting out in the, in the flank of a tadpole, uh, we didn't touch any of those cells. These cells told those cells what to do. They said, they said, you need to participate with us to make this thing because there's not enough of us to make. To, uh, and, and by the way, these other cells resist. They have a different uh, vision of the future that they were following before. And we can actually track the communication that goes back and forth and to see who wins because it's a cancer suppression mechanism. Cells don't just pick up whatever message you happen to give them. They, they resist. They have their own idea of, of, of what they should be doing. So it's, it's really all, all this, this morphogenesis um, is, a, is a constant battle of worldviews. It's a battle of models, uh, and and the cell the cell collectives have to decide which which uh, which model of the future they're gonna they're gonna go with. 